man, and I hope you pay attention. The WM48, we keep it real. Give me 48. Drake has an album coming out too. It is titled Scorpion. Scorpion. I don't know why. I don't. I just know that song that he put out is everything. Oh, nice for what? So- Yes. Hey, oh nice gosh. for what is fire. The video is I, fire. The song. The video is, is fire. The beat. The break. Oh, that the, big free to break. Listen. We good just, job, Aubrey. Well, why we say Aubrey? He didn't produce it. He's he's that's his song, Aubrey. This ain't fair. Good this job, is, Aubrey. This is not fair to his producers at all. I mean, you know, he rapped on it, so he's part of the song. Right, but his producers ain't getting no credit right now for taking, uh, uh for 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 making more, for doing much better music with Lauren Hill's voice than she's able to do right now. <laughs> I don't feel like that's fair at all. Like they made no. Lauren Hill if you're high right, because you know what, that that beat could have been annoying. Yes, it really could have been. So they did a phenomenal job for me to play it five million times. And hey, Lauren, sing that one little piece from X Factor. So, still um, in my life. This was actually on our itinerary for the night too, because I saw some people talking about this. There were, there, and this has happened twice. It seems with Big Frida. So this happened with when Beyonce used formation, Big Frida on formation, right? And they people were like, "Well, wait, where's Big Frida though? Like, why isn't Big Frida kind of you know physically here involved in any of this?" Why are we just hearing Big Frida? And then it's kind of happened again with this Nice For What video. So Drake went out of his way to get all of these actresses, singers, really these elite black women in the industry right now to put them in this, and white women, some white women, and put them in this video, Nice For What. Personal friends, people he admires, et cetera. But Big Frida is not in the video. And people are kind of like, okay, what is the deal? So Noisy wrote an article called the ghost of Big Frida and put in it mainstream artists like Drake and Beyonce continue to borrow Big Frida's voice and New Orleans flavor, but she remains completely absent from their videos. And so I'll read a little bit of it. In the first scene of Drake's Nice For What video, you hear the voice of the black queer New Orleans bounce artist Big Frida. What you see, however, is a white woman with blonde hair looking sultry into the camera. This is not new territory for Big Frida. She was always the voice that excited and affirmed us in Beyonce's formation. I did not come to play with you hoes, where her voice was animating the gritty scenes of New Orleans. Big Frida has been continuously used for her voice, words, and energy, but her body is always abstracted from the visual element of these mainstream moments. It does feel quite odd for mainstream culture to seemingly made a phantom or a ghost out of a living person. Usually when you hear a voice and never the body and face of someone in music videos, it is because they are dead. Yet in the case of Big Frida, although she is alive and kicking, she is still treated like an apparition with mainstream when mainstream artists want to collaborate with her. Big Frida is one of the biggest voices that has come out of New Orleans in the last decade and has brought bounce music to the forefront of pop culture. If you attend, if you attend one of her shows, she brings the spirit of New Orleans with her everywhere she goes. It is high energy, it is sweaty, it is soulful. And this undoubtedly is one of the reasons why she has pierced the culture in the way she has. She is also a gay man with dark skin whose gender performance is extremely deviant from the binary. This is why we often hear the magic of Big Frida, but rarely see the magician. In an interview with The Fader, Big Frida talked about not being featured in a music video she lent her voice to. That's when I say the proper recognition and proper credit. Big Frida said, you know, my voice be on a lot of different stuff and people want to use bounce music as a part of their music. But when it comes to the proper recognition of me being in the video, that's something there. That's something that we're steady, we're steady working toward to make it happen. This is not an uncommon, uncommon circumstance for queer black artists to find themselves. It is more metaphorical. Queer black artists has, have often been siphoned for their creativity and erased visually as, the not, as to not offend the heteronormative, often white public. Viewing the white blonde female taken over the big screen as Big Frida's voice boom reminded me of how it must, be, it must have felt to see Madonna perform her hit song Vogue at the 1990, I knew this is where he was going. At the 1990 MTV Music Awards, she took that dance and culture that was birthed by queer black and Latina and a Latinx people and made her and made her blonde white body the vehicle of delivering it. 
to the mainstream. It is not uncommon for divas, for divas like Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, and Lady Gaga, Gaga to mostly work with black, hair, black queer artists for their makeup, wardrobe, choreography, and overall creative direction. It is rare to see black queer artists invited to be on stage in a significant way. So there's a lot more article here, a lot more he had to say, but I feel like this is a, a conversation that we do not have enough for a conversation that we don't have enough within a culture that seems to be embracing uh, LGBTQ communities, right? Because hip hop for a long standing time period has been homophobic as fuck. But for right. over the last couple of years, we kind of like chipping away at that fear and more holding hands and being supportive of gay culture. You have rappers that definitely use the F word 10, 5, 10, 15 years ago and now will sit and do interviews with gay people We'll have we'll, we'll we'll share gay commentary. We'll be supportive of gay rights, uh, even if it is sort of from a distance. Where it's like I'm cool with them. I don't mind what they do. And then every once in a while, you have uh, what's what's my dude, the light skinned nigga that used to be a rapper that always be bitching in Vlad TV videos about stuff. Uh, he used names, to be a rapper. Name start with a J. He always saying some controversial shit. Just to uh, fucking say it. I, I can't even... See, he's not even fuck, that fucking important. Unless it's a controversy corner, so I can't think of Somebody is listening to the podcast right now, and they're yelling his name. Yeah, I have no clue. Uh, but um, I, it's a jar of something. I don't, I don't know. But out of the way, that seems few and far-fetched now. Now, every once in a while, you'll get Migos say something, Offset will say some off-the-wall stuff. I, I think Cardi B may have alluded to something. Uh, a while ago, I think rappers still make homophobic undertone comments within their music uh, when they suggest things. It, it, it goes how it goes, but I think it's kind of like I'm surprised it happened with Beyonce that freedom. Yeah, wasn't I was featured. gonna say like I I can see. I mean, I, I guess I can see both sides. Like I can see. I can. I also said this. I can see where. In, in instances where you know they use their music you know she clearly she's getting paid for it you know one way or the other and, but yeah with the video you know treatment and all that stuff like it's just not a thought for her to be a part of it but then I can also see where it could be something where like they could have reached out and maybe she wasn't available. Maybe she was torn and stuff. But yeah, like out of, I think Drake, I can kind of see the whole, I have this vision of a video, not so much big freedom being part of it. But yeah, Beyonce is one of the, the ones like, I just, that's very, that's that would be like super surprising for me if that was the case where she, um, you know, just didn't want him or excuse me, her in the video and didn't reach out or even, you know, do anything with that. I don't know. That 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 one that that would be a super shocker to me. Um and, and Drake's video, like Beyonce definitely confuses me. I'm not sure what happened there. Drake's video confuses me as well because Sid is in his video. And mm-hmm. that's clearly that's 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 the queer community, right? She is right. like the soulful voice of the queer community right now in her genre. Mm-hmm. There's she not, is. She so I, I'm not to compare her and Big Frida in that way. I'm just saying, as far as just from the perspective of the queer community, y'all clearly em- embrace Big Frida's voice. Why isn't she allowed to be in the videos? Why is there no visual representation? What is is and, and and to me is it is it her presentation that still bothers? I mean, people? but Big Frida really don't. I mean, even if you say that, like, because you know she has a show. I forgot what channel it's on. Mm-hmm. But I mean, even in the, sh- I mean, every time I see her, it's not even like she's wearing like these, you know, crazy, like you know, all this skin or provocative type clothing. Maybe if anything, maybe her hair, and even her hair is nothing different than anybody, any other, you know, black female's hair. So I, I, even that, I don't, I don't get. I think they just use it as a sample. Like they take it as that. 
like her, the, the voice as a sample and not even as is connected to an actual person who's actually still out making music. You know what I mean? Because, like, I remember, like, watching, like, you know, watching Big Free the show. So I remember when I heard, like, when when Formation came out, I, I, I heard her on it. I was like, yo, this is dope, especially for her. But then I was like, I remember watching the video and being like, I would love to see her in the video, especially since that video was all based in, like, New Orleans. I was like, I would love to see her there because it's like, that's literally her home, what she repped for, like, it it would have just made perfect sense within the context of everything you were doing. But a lot of people just use the voice and don't use the person. I don't even think, sometimes she's, like, sometimes with these, these samples stuff like that, she's she not getting paid and stuff. Which is crazy to me. I understand that there's some yeah. type of clause for that, but if, if you shoot a video in New Orleans and you're using Big Frida, who is a voice of New Orleans, who is one of the voices of New Orleans, then I don't understand how you don't have her visually represented within the videos. I don't understand, the, like, 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 did they not reach out? It did. What was it? Something that didn't work, or how do you just kind of gloss over her being featured when? Okay, I can- if it was if it was like yeah I caught, we reached out and schedule conflict you know the favorite famous words something along the lines especially with I guess with Beyonce too because you know there's the radio version that doesn't have Big Frida on it but the video and the album you know her voice is definitely on it so um, but yeah that that's that's why I said like Beyonce especially like. Her not reaching out or her camp not reaching out, um, yeah. not having her on there, that's just kind of... Yeah. Like I said, if, if that was the case, it, it is shocking. Because I know, I, know, I, know I know they did work together. Like, they came together to do that. Um, Beyonce was getting sued by Messy Myers people um, because they said that didn't get paid. But uh, and like in the, in the formation songs are probably one of the only ones I remember. Like, like Frida was actually it was a collaboration. Mm-hmm. But I I was still kind of want to see it in the video just because like so the video was just so New Orleans, and it had mm-hmm. her and you had two people from New Orleans like speaking on it. Mm-hmm. So I would I I'd have just loved to see it. So you know like we maybe you know like I said it could have been something like as simple as scheduling conflicts and stuff like that, but. Like, like the author, you know, the uh, the article points out, like it's been it's it's been happened so many times to Big Frida that you start like you have to start answering that question, like what's going on, like for to have a person who is the voice is used and their voice is so distinctive and and, and recognizable, but this person is still here making music and you can go and find them. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't... And it makes you even question, too, like, as far as for her, you know, yeah, I'm sure there are people who, you know, have mixtapes and whatnot that use her voice, use her as a sample, and clearly she's not going to get paid off of that, but once you start naming big name artists like Drake, like the Beyonce's, you know, I'm sure it's probably some other ones that I don't know about that have used the sample, like, majorly. You know, it makes me, I guess it's the question for her is like, you know, since this is a consistent thing, you know, what can, what makes you to continue to give them the green light to use your stuff? You know, like if another major artist decides to use your um, sample or collaborate with you for whatever reason, you know, what makes you decide to still do it? knowing that it's a good chance that, you know, a video might come up and you might not be asked to be in it. Well, okay, so she did she did do the article with Fader, the interview with Fader as well. So let me read that because that has a bit more commentary from her side, from her directly. And uh, so let's see. They reached out to, this is Frida. They reached out, they reached out to my team. They wanted me to be a part of the project. Once they told me, I was like, you got to be kidding me. I was super excited about my voice being at the beginning of the song. They sent me the track for me to approve. It was to, for me to approve it. And I was like, shit, I don't care what I say on it long as I'm on it. And then they said, 
many nice for what viewers were quick to point out the absence of Frida in the video. And they asked her about that. She said, that's what I say. That's when I, that's when, that's when I say the proper recognition and the proper credit. Frida said, when asked about not being included in the video, she said, you know, my voice be on a lot of different stuff and people want to use bounce music as a part of their music. But when it comes to the proper recognition of me being in the video, that's something we're steady working toward to make it happen. The credits are important, but for me, it's still putting New Orleans on the map and I'm happy for the check. So that was her response to not being in Nice for What. Yeah. Cause you like, you know, like, and you hope that it works there. You hope that the next person they use is her voice will, will put it, will, you know, put in the video and stuff like that because again like you don't know how like that that's big for uh you know artists to have some like to have somebody come up there and basically say like it's, it's a cosign like you like hey you in my video and shit mm-hmm. you know like it's not only like yeah i'm getting paid because i you know i put stuff on your track that's great and all but now i'm also getting paid for that and i'm i'm people putting a face to the name Knowing that I make music and stuff like that, yeah. Or actually, get let's get some collabs, man. Because like, let's not just get the voice up there. Let's get some actual, you know, collaboration going. Let's throw some 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 bounce in it. Just I throw this in shit the right. video, I think it'd be bro. Great. Like I, at this point, I just don't feel like there's a good enough excuse from anybody's team using her voice on their tracks to add that New Orleans bounce sound to it, respectively. Say, like I don't think there's any excuse that they can give that is satisfactory for why they're not including her visually. I just I just don't think there is one. Like in, in, unless you in, unless it is a scheduling conflict where she could not make it. Yeah, she's telling you she can't make it. That's the only excuse that I'm accepting at this point for that. Because you because not her voice is good couldn't enough. Make it. She couldn't make it. Yeah, her voice is good enough for you to use it. I don't understand why you don't want her represented in the video. And of all the videos that she needed to be in, that Nice For What was, oh my, it, it kind of makes me more upset that she was not featured in Nice For What. Because mm-hmm. that is that was an important video for black women, period. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't think, I just don't think there's a good excuse. Like she, like she's cool. I'm glad she's so cool about it that she's, you know, we're working towards it. But I just don't I just don't think that's acceptable at this point. Like somebody needs to be the person to just do it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's the only the only logical, like if she says, you know, schedule conflict, like I was on tour and I just couldn't physically do it, then oh, okay. I, I can get that. But Anything else is kind of like mm. you look at some of the actresses that they have in the nice for what video. You're not gonna tell me that they weren't working and had scheduling conflicts and were able to still make it to do this video. Okay. I'm sure some of those women were not people you could just call up and be like, come do this. Like they made time mm-hmm. to get them in there. So Yeah, that's true. Wow. 